What's going on everybody, it's Sean here and in today's video, I'm here to give you guys a review of the Tyler the Creator collaboration with Converse on the Golf LaFleur 1 Star in the Purple Heart and Jolly Green colorway. First off, I just want to give a huge thank you to Converse Canada for sending me over this pair. These drop tomorrow on June 1st for 110 US dollars or 140 Canadian dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is Purple Heart, Jolly Green and White. Not too long ago, Converse released the Monotone Golf LaFleur pack which was very simple, very understated. Fast forward to tomorrow's release, and this shoe is releasing alongside three other colorways as part of a two-tone pack. So this two-tone pack, in contrast to the monotone pack, is a complete 180 degree change. All four colorways in this pack are very loud and very vibrant. So taking a closer look at these shoes, the upper is constructed using suede in both purple and green. So the bottom base layer of the shoe is constructed using purple suede. You can see this along the toe box as well as running along both sides of the shoe. Running up and along where the laces go, we have this hit of green suede. And then we have this green floral overlay that covers the suede found on the midfoot. This is also found on both sides of the shoe. Taking a look at the back heel, we have this green suede covering the bottom half of the heel as well as running down the center area as well. Throughout the entire upper, it features contrast white stitching. As for the tongue, so the tongue is also constructed using purple suede and at the very top we have this Golf Lafleur and Converse branding debossed directly out of the suede. As for the laces, the standard stock laces are a flat and wide white colored lace but they also come with a secondary pair of purple laces. The inner liner of the shoe is lined in a very soft white colored leather. And then taking a look at the insoles, so these are a sail or like an off-white colored insole. Here we have the Golf Lafleur and Converse branding on the heel. So the upper of these shoes sit atop this white colored midsole. Towards the frontal half we have this overlay that has this texturized finish to it. Flipping it over to the back heel we have this Converse All-Star branding done in tonal fashion. If you guys thought this purple and green colored combination wasn't loud enough, as I flip these over to the bottom, here we have a very loud outsole. So this is your traditional Converse One Star outsole, but to spice things up, they've added this black floral pattern all throughout the outsole. In terms of sizing, I'd recommend sticking with your normal Converse Chuck Taylor All Star size. These do run big, so I definitely recommend going at least a half size down, if not a full size down. Comfort wise, as I've touched upon in past videos, these aren't the most comfortable sneaker out there, and the majority of the comfort does come from the insole that's provided. With that said though, I feel these will be perfectly fine just for everyday casual use, but if you are going to be on your feet for a long time or if you're planning on like hiking or just going to be walking around on vacation or something, then I might recommend going for a shoe that has a bit more cushioning inside. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and show you guys how these look on feet. There's no denying that this is a very, very loud colored sneaker. For me personally, I tend to gravitate towards shoes that are a little bit more on the conservative side of things. So these will definitely be worn more as a statement piece than anything. Of the four colors in the pack, I like the cotton candy colorway the best, which was like that pastel blue and pink. And then probably this one was second, the Spider-Man looking one at three, and then the pink and orange one coming in at fourth. So let me know in the comments down below how you guys would rank the four colorways dropping tomorrow. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on my Instagram at sgo8, and check out my website at seango.ca. Before I sign off, one final thank you goes out to the good people over at Converse Canada, and until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.